Dude, look what I found at the recycling center. A gaming laptop, huh? broken hinges, missing display, missing lid, ripped cables, Wi-Fi, easy stuff for free. Can't beat that. Nope. I mean, it's pretty disgusting. I actually probably oh, shouldn't be touching this with my bare hands, but... Definitely Gucci. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not... What is Don't that? Don't worry about that, man. Why... Don't are... you already have another laptop that has broken hinges in the cabinet? I do. I forgot about that thing. What is that? I've never seen that in my life. Wait, is this mine? Whatever. Ah, here it is. I forgot I had this. Oh, you forgot those packages that we need to return, huh? Shh. We were supposed to ship these out like three days ago. The worst business that's ever lived. Well, time for a girl's trip. Girl's trip? Ah! All right. Oh, can't forget about this one. Well, oh. uh, hurry up, man. Old cars, I'm man. I'm not as strong as you. See these arms? Oh, all right. Okay. There we go. Nice and gentle. Is that a toothbrush? What is that? Ah, oh, never mind. VIP parking, baby. I was gonna Starbucks and get a chai latte. Saw that person beeping at me? Yeah. Look at this, Look at guy. this guy. Wait a second, weren't there four? Oh well. Thank you. <laughs> What'd you get there? It was like perfume. Lizzie. She's getting that glizzy, buddy. Oh, Lizzie's getting that glizzy! Yeah, that guy knows. Look at those sausages on those lights, huh? I like those Genesises, man. Genocide. Oh my god! It's a brick building! See, that's that's what we need, man. Do you know how many bodies can fit in the back of that thing? Is he in the car? Well, they abandoned nope. that piece of shit. That guy died. Yo, dude, are you texting and driving? Yeah, man, I'm putting Lizzie's number on the phone. Oh god. Click, click, click. Oh shit, watch out! Careful, it's a construction zone here. Yeah, about. Hey, what are you guys doing? Don't worry. Oh, shit. Oh, that's where that package went. Oh, Lord. What the? That was fast. Well, uh, I'll take this guy. We wouldn't throw these in the trash. Recycling, baby. We're not monsters. Reincarnation. Well, that was eventful. Indeed Ooh. it was. I'm feeling kind of hot now. This is the, uh, this is the computer. This is the G66 Raider. Shout out to Flexispot. I remember my first Raider. My Raider R10. You're very generous. And one of the yams, man. Mmm, yams? Steamed? At this time of the year? Localized entirely in your backyard. This is the repair. Uh, let's get this out of the... Oh god, I don't want to touch this thing. <laughs> I have PTSD from today. Thumps, bangs, whistles. It's all too much for me. So I bought this laptop quite a while ago. A customer traded it in. I don't remember what I paid. This was back in July of 2023 I bought this computer and I've been meaning to refurbish it but I've been so busy here I ended up neglecting anything that I would enjoy my health my family my friends and my laptop I neglected all of them but now I'm a little less busy we're almost finished with the board we are almost done so let me give you a quick history lesson on broken hinges I already made a video about broken hinges and this isn't going to be a repetitive video I'm not gonna do any JB welding or anything like that but uh, this is such a common problem we have three laptops all of them gaming laptops in the store right now with broken hinges. So the disgusting one I, I got at Trident Electronics this morning. We have this one, and then we have a customer's Dell G3. That thing is bad. These 
These lids are pieces of trash. The plastic is super, super cheap, cost cutting at its finest. Even though you're buying a $3,000 laptop, cost cutting is at its prime, so you're getting a, a laptop with a lid that costs probably 10 cents to make. On this thing, I bought a new lid for it quite a while ago. This is what this is, right here. It has the adhesive already pre-attached, it has the foam, all that good stuff. I also bought the LCD, which is a 144 hertz LCD. I am kind of scared to know whether this is gonna work because this has been sitting in the cabinet for a while and I may have stacked some laptops on top of this because I don't care about my own stuff because I value other people's stuff over my own. And on top of that, we have the cable. The webcam part of this cable got shopped off or whatever when this thing broke. And uh, today I'm just gonna show you how to replace the back lid of a laptop. So come on over, these are the materials I'm gonna be using. These are the tools I need. That's not one of them. So it finished. No, it, it failed to finish. 8.1, holy uh. balls. Hey, hey, over here, buddy. Don't be distracted by e-waste. Okay, I know you're all about the earth, but that thing's a lost cause. These are the tools we're gonna use. First off, gloves. I have enough ST- God, would you stop that? Please wait. We're gonna be waiting for forever on that thing. Gloves, first of all. Gloves. 99% isopropyl alcohol. Up Siren Thermal Putty, because I am gonna replace the paste. PTM 7950 Q-tips. A screwdriver, pliers. Oh, we're gonna definitely ply hair for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it booted. Isn't that pretty? Oh, That's Dave, gorgeous. Wow. See, that's why we protect ourselves. Perfect. Look how dusty this is, man. I just cleaned this the other day. All right, I want to give you a re... How's my mic? Okay. I want to give you a recap on how this happens and why this happens. So if you look closely, you can see... These nuts! Still attached. Dumbest design. Everybody uses it except for Apple and Razer, which is ridiculous. They glue plastic, which is what this is. That's plastic. That's what you see the remainder on, on the screw, to the metal lid. Obviously the screw and steel is stronger than this plastic. So what happens is when you bend the lid, because these hinges, this is taking me some effort. When you have that attached to some plastic that's so brittle, I mean, you look at it the wrong way and it breaks, it rips the nuts right off. Just <clears throat> So what we need to do is remove these old nuts and these old screws with pliers and the screwdriver. And uh, it looks like I'm coming up short. Uh, it's nothing new. No, I'm five, five, six, right? Well, oh, we're gonna, this is, this is YouTube lore, man. That people are gonna go crazy over this. All right, so it's about nine inches. <laughs> oh no, we can go over here. Oh, we can see my height chart. That's right, we have my height chart. Hello, my name is Reek. I forgot about that. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> there you have it, people. <laughs> I've grown quite a few inches over the uh, the past few months. I've grown about half a foot since my last measurement. It's a lot of moose milk. A lot of moose milk. I drink from the teat of beauty. All right. You doing okay there, bud? You're about five, six. Yeah. Back to safety, we're gonna practice safety. So I'm used to coming up short, so being short one screw isn't a big deal. I'll find a screw in the screw pile. First things first, screwdriver. We wanna break the nut, all that plastic, chop it off. And now we wanna grab the nut after we break the plastic off of it. Oh yeah. And just unscrew, easy peasy. And the new lid, and this is the time I realized, we didn't get a new bezel for this. We got the lid, but we didn't get the bezel, the front bezel. Cool, awesome, nice. Very nice. The next step is to replace this cable, this LCD cable. This one had no screws in it. Case screws were all gone. Mm -hmm. Maybe my, my 3D printed spudger will work. <laughs> that one didn't work. Now, if you watch this video and you owned or own a Raider, you've probably had your hinge break before because this was a very common issue on these MSIs. And as you know, MSIs stand for multiple serious issues. Little Gucci, not too bad. First things first, let's unplug that battery. We don't want to shock ourselves today. And now, where is the cable? Cable's right here. Cable looks like it goes through the hinge right here. So I will have to take off that hinge cover. Ah! They buried the cable underneath the heat sink. So I, no matter what, I do have to remove the heat sink, which I guess, you know, it's not the worst case because I was gonna replace the thermal paste anyways, but this job would have been fairly simple if they didn't have to do that. Wow, that was unplugged too. They must've tried to repair this before. I bought it from them. Well, if I get scammed, it's fine, but if the customer gets scammed, it's no good. I guess now we're gonna just replace the thermal paste. Aha! Oh, another screw. Let's not forget about that. That is a large heat sink, my friends. Sorry, I can't do a, a before and after test, but yeah, we'll find out. Okay, LCD cable. And we're still locked behind there, but it's because this little screw right there. So one screw out and this should crack open. There it is. Just 
just like that. And I'm gonna make note of how this was wired. There we go, that's the old cable. The new cable. Please do not remove any stickers or tags in case of any return. I don't like being told what to do. I don't even want this anymore. Let's wire it, wire it down. This screw is so disgusting. Look at, look how gross that is. I can't even see where the head is. Ugh. Ugh. Now this is the tricky part. I don't have the front LCD bezel, but that's not, not the worst thing in the world. Um, I'm gonna put the display lid on first, and then I'm gonna put the LCD on, because this is adhesive. Once I put the LCD on, it's gonna be a real pain in the keister to take this thing off. Okay, so now we're lined up. Imagine if it just snapped. <laughs> okay, so now we have a hinge. Perfect. Uh, okay. Holy shit. It's, bent it's shit. fucking bent. Ah, eBay. Thank you, eBay. Well, I'm definitely not removing these strips yet. I was going to remove the strips, but I don't even know if this is going to work. I think I can get it. I got it. Don't touch me. Now, there's supposed to be a webcam here, and that's where this cable plugs into, but there's no webcam. There's no bezel, so me actually even purchasing this was pointless because I have no bezel or webcam. But I'm just gonna use this for videos to edit when I'm uh, when I'm on the go because my other laptop is really hurting right now. So I don't really care about the webcam. What I am gonna do though, I'll do what you do on uh, the club night on Saturdays. I'll tuck it in. No diddy. No diddy. The helping hand of Lupe. Well, that's it. All right, let's clean this up. That's why we wear hard hats when accidents in the workplace happen. Because I don't have that front bezel and you see how it just keeps moving around, I'm just gonna tape, tape it onto there. And I'm not taping the LCD, just to be clear, there's a piece of plastic film over it. So I'm taping on top of the plastic film just to hold it in place. And I'm gonna put the hinge back on. The hinge cover looks like it snaps into place pretty easy. And the fun part, repasting it. This is gonna be a pain in the, in, the, in, the, in the keister because removing that thermal putty and putting on new thermal putty is gonna take forever. So you know what, I think I'll time lapse this one on the bench. Thermal putty is great in performance, but when it comes to replacing it uh, and maintenance, it is not fun. Applying it is equally as hellish, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now and probably just completely skip me doing it because it's gonna take me probably an hour. 621, I don't know what time I started this, 550 something? Didn't take me as long as I thought. But now I'm all out of up siren thermal putty. Don't, don't try this, don't try this at home. If, if this is, this is difficult. Uh, look at, I'm all, I'm all messed up. Thermal putty is kind of difficult to work with. It's difficult. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. With thermal putty, it's better to use more than less because a common mistake I used to make was I didn't put enough on the smaller chips and they wouldn't make contact with the heat sink. But wow, this is annoying to put on. But I have that that's done and over with. I do still need to put the PTM on there, so wish me luck. I think this is an important time to tell you that if you enjoy this as a hobby, don't do it for a living. Don't do it for a living. I used to love doing this. Like, if this was my computer back in the day, I had this computer. First of all, I would shit myself that I had a computer. I would be very proud that I had a computer this powerful and I would wonder where I got the money from. Most likely selling drugs. I would enjoy doing this. This wouldn't this wouldn't be a bad uh, a bad thing. You know, on a Saturday, a Friday night or whatever, I'd sit at home. This would be uh this would be pretty cool. But the fastest way to kill your hobby is to do it for a living. I know they say do what you love and you'll never work another day in your life. That's bullshit. Okay, that's not true at all. Because if you love doing this, you're going to hate doing it after a few years. You will you will end up, after dealing with people and after dealing with just the monotonous, same BS every single repair, uh, it's, it's gonna get old. You're not gonna wanna do it anymore. And that's where I'm at. This is torture. This is absolute torture. Which is why I make jokes for you guys on the interwebs because I don't enjoy doing this anymore. And I know there are uh, quite a few of you out there that also feel the same way as I do. And uh, yeah, we're in this together, buddy. I've been doing this for nine years in the store, in this store specifically for nine years. I've been doing this as a career for quite a few years since what, probably like 2008 or something like that. So uh, I have quite 
quite a few years under my belt, and uh, that's not to say, listen, if, if you enjoy this, do it. Do it for a living. If you're young, you know, and you want to help people out, do it for a living. Uh, you might not be able to pay your rent, or, you know, you'll be eating ramen every single night, dollar ramen, because it doesn't pay enough, but, uh, yeah, the fastest way to... To lose the passion in any industry is to do it for a living. Why do you think mechanics drive the worst cars? Because they fix people's cars for a living. The last thing they want to do is fix their own car at the end of the day. Just like me. I don't want to do this, but I need a computer. So, I'm doing this. Now this is the moment of truth! How Gucci is the fans. Some clips. No, that wasn't that bad. A little pew ball. What about this one? Eh, not bad. Nice and clean. Fan's gonna go in. Get back in there. And this guy in here. Beautiful. Oh, we're ready. Fans are in. Everything's in. Everything's good. Everybody's cool. Okay, we're ready. A little sleepy. Loopy's a little sleepy. Thermal putty, I cleaned up the extra. It's not the neatest thing in the world, but it's mine, so I really don't care if it's neat or not. Everything's good, everything's in. Let's put that bottom case back on. Clickety, clickety, snappity, snap, snappity, snap, click, pop, snap. Gently open it up. Dude, we don't have a charger. What kind of charger does it take? Oh great, a proprietary one. What about USB-C? USB-C, USB-C save me. Shout out to you Green with your 100 watt cable. Let's try the back port first. Well that's not good at all, I just shorted out. Zero volt, zero amps, zero watts, and we have no smiley face. It's shorting out, that's not good. That USB-C port might be bad. Let's try this USB-C port, and this guy should light up, right? Oh, oh. Little guy. I see eyeballs. Oh, but he's idle. It's not charging. Five volt, zero amps, zero watts. Oh boy. Well, maybe I should have bought a charger before I did this. All right, well, uh, one day later. One day later. Fucking tourists. This is it, this is the charger. I hope. Oh, might have to return that. Yes, that's the right charger. Perfect. All right. I think we're good to. Who the? Hi. Uh, can I help you? Hi. My friend is missing, and I was wondering if you could hang this in your window. I can do that. So, where'd you get that hat? Um. Wait. Ooh, that was a close one. Now that I'm back home, the charger's plugged in and the laptop powers on with a working screen, which means it somehow survived over a year of abuse in my cabinet. So I peel off the cable and lid adhesive to hold the new screen in tight, and I definitely didn't steal the NVMe from my other mini PC to use in this because the greatest technician that's ever lived wouldn't do that. The temps look amazing, even when editing 4K and stressing with Cinebench, and after installing all the drivers and MSI's Dragon Center, I'm able to work around some of the issues, like the missing function key, because they have a setting to change it to the Windows button, which is very helpful, so shout out to MSI for that. And even though there's still some more work to do, like the bezel, webcam, and scrubbing the previous owner's bodily fluids off the keyboard, it looks like I have myself a decent video editing laptop that only cost me under 400 bucks in total, if you don't include the multiple felon and countless hours of therapy. Which I will be able to pay for, thanks to all you beautiful humans that have signed up for memberships. Especially the greatest supporters whose names I know so well I've tattooed them all over my body, and have also memorized. <coughs> Eric Danos, Daniel, Killjoy, Pierce, Fuckstick9000, Joel Larson, Dakota Roney, Masquerade, George Tully, my guy George, Will Fix Things, Jacob Holmes, Gay Lol XD. <laughs> Fred Simonofsky, Redguard153, A.A. Ron Shepard, Limus, and of course, my man, Cal Murdoch. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers. I really appreciate it. You guys have no idea. And stay tuned for the next video next week.